So Discord released this active developer badge and uh, I'm gonna show you how to get it as quick as possible. So you need to go to the first link in the description. It will just be Replit and we need to click start creating because we need to log into Replit. If you don't have an account, then you just gotta make one. But once you make an account, click on create, then click on import from GitHub on the top right. Then we need to go to the second link in the description. You will see this GitHub page. We just want to copy the URL of it. You can't copy right from YouTube, it messes up. So you need to make sure you visit the page, then copy the URL, paste that bad boy in and click import from GitHub. Now Replit's gonna do all this fancy dancy stuff of importing. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to that GitHub page and there's this little developer link that we're gonna click on and it will take us to the Discord developer portal. What you wanna do is create a new application. I'm gonna call this free badge bot LMFAO. I already have one, but that's because I, I hate myself. Anyways, once we do that, we need to click on bot on the left, click add bot, click yes, do it. We need to click on reset token, click yes, do it. Then if you have an authenticator code, you need to enter that bad boy in. And once you do that, you have your Discord bot token. Now, if this was a channel focused on uh, developing Discord bots, I'd tell you not to share this with anyone, but we're using it literally just to get a badge, so it kind of doesn't matter. But click on copy, then we need to go back to Replit, and uh, if it's importing for a long time, then refresh the page. But for me, it worked. But what we need to do is we need to go to this little box on the top right. We need to do npm run run, then we need to paste in our token. So it should be npm run run, and then this weird token thing. Click on done. And once you do that, it's going to save all this crap, then click on the big green run button at the top. Now what this is doing is actually sealing your Discord account. No, I'm kidding, it's just opening up a bot, and you should see this URL here. Now this might take a while because to be honest, uh, Replit's getting completely annihilated by people doing this. So if it doesn't work, give it five minutes. If it doesn't work after five minutes, then just try it again in a couple hours or something. Now when you click on the link, you should see your bot and it's telling you to add the bot to your server. You can add it to whatever server, just make a new server and then add it to your new server. I have this crap server called this server brother. I'm just gonna add it to that server. Then click on authorize, then click I am human. All right, so this is the most important part of the whole entire video, right? When you add the bot to your server, what you need to do is either ask your friend or like me, just go on an alt account. And what you need to do is you just need to run the slash command LOL. And you need to make sure this is not on your account, it's on an alt account or someone else's account, your friends or whatever. Get them to type this in and press enter. And it should say, according to all known laws of aviation, there's no way a bee should fly. It's the bee movie script. Anyways, once you run this slash command, this is kind of where the waiting period starts. But what you need to do is you need to go to the third link in the description, if I can count properly, and you should see this active developer page. Now, here's the thing. Discord takes 24 hours for it to recognize that your bot used a slash command. So once you run that slash command, I don't know, just set like an alarm for 24 hours or something, or you can keep refreshing and checking it constantly like a, a complete mongrel like myself. All right, so when you refresh the page, it should look like this. Now, keep in mind, this is not the bot I used in the video because I need to speed run this stuff and I can't wait 24 hours. So just keep that in mind. But believe it or not, this will work if you use the method I showed you. So just click on the bot that you made, then you need to set a support server. So just pick the server that you made and the channel to subscribe to announcements. Just pick whatever at this point and click claim and kaboom I claim my active developer badge so if I go into discord I press Control and R to restart discord so you know I, I actually have the chance of seeing whether or not I have a badge if I go to my profile you now see I am an active developer. Yeah, I know <laughs> I know how to code, definitely. <laughs> so anyways, once you get your verified badge, there's actually something really important that you need to keep in mind. And it's just Discord might get rid of this badge after 30 days if your bot isn't active. I'm not entirely sure. This is kind of me guessing because this thing literally came out three hours ago. So after 30 days, Discord might get rid of this badge. If that's the case, all you need to do is just go back to Replit and you should see your stupid Discord badge thing. We want to click on it and we just want to run the program again. And once you see this link, you actually don't need to invite the bot again, assuming you didn't kick the bot. But if you did kick the bot, then, you know, re-invite the bot and just do the same thing. Slash LOL, press enter, enter, send the commands, and that should update your badge. You might need to wait 24 hours, and then you can go back and activate it. But it's probably a better idea just to do this every 29 days. But there you go, you get a badge. Anyways, bye bye, love you. Mwah!